Hi, my name is Andy Harris, and I love video games. I've loved video games, well, since they first began. I've always loved video games, and I'm lucky enough to have been involved in them for quite a long time. You know, I like to play games, but even from the beginning when I started playing games, I was wondering, gosh, it would be so much better if I could actually make my own. That would be even more fun. Well, I'm very lucky that not only am I able to play games, I also know how to make them. And I'm even luckier than that. I have a wonderful job. I get to teach people how to make their own games. I teach through a university. I also teach through writing. And now I'm teaching here through Udemy, giving you a course on how to build your own games using free technology. We're going to be using HTML5, which is a very promising, exciting technology because everything you need is free, and it works great on pretty much any platform, on your desktop, in your browser, on your mobile devices. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is very cool. Well, I got a chance to write a book that helps us learn a little bit about game programming. I'm, I'm very excited about this. And the book is called HTML5 Game Development for Dummies. I know, it's a dummy series. You're not a dummy, but uh, it's, it's a pretty popular series. And uh, the book was a lot of fun to write. Because what we did is I took all these years of teaching gaming and put it together. I said, gosh, we really need an environment that's fun and easy so that even beginners can learn about programming through game development. And I think that's exactly what we've done. Now, you don't actually have to go get this book if you don't want it. It might be handy to have it as sort of a backup to carry around a little bit. But every example that I have, I'll give you online, both through the course and through the book main site. But if you do want, of course, it'd be great to have the book as sort of a backup so that you can look it over. Well, as we went through every single example in the book and a few bonuses, I've created a video or two to explain. So I'm explaining every single example. Other thing is they've all been tested. I know they all work because I've been using them and teaching uh, for quite some time now. So everything is already there for you. Now it turns out there's quite a bit of information. This turned out to be about 60 plus lectures when I started to record it. And so what we've decided to do is make it a little bit easier to digest. You see, as we look at the content, it turns out that some things are kind of review. You know, in order to build HTML5 games, obviously enough, you need to know some HTML5. You also need to know a little bit of CSS, and you need to know another language, JavaScript. Some of you may already have that knowledge, in which case you shouldn't have to pay for it. If you don't have that knowledge, well, you shouldn't have to pay for it either. Why don't we go ahead, since this is a quick version, I'll, I'll break it into two courses, and this first preparation course will be free. So anybody who wants can learn a little bit about how does HTML5 work, how does CSS3 work, how does JavaScript work, enough to build a game. Now, there's much more involved courses about these things, and, and I'll probably develop some of them myself if there's a demand. But for now, I want to give you enough so that you can get into gaming. And also, you know, I know a lot of those other examples are kind of boring, so all of our examples will be based on games. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. And here's what we'll do. This preparatory stuff, we'll give away. Everybody can have it for free. Whether you take the other course, whether you buy the book or not, you can have it. Good? Good. And that way you can decide, do you like my teaching style? Do you want to hang with me a little more and learn the other stuff? I think you will because I know I'm going to have a great time. I already have. All right, let's take a look at the things that we'll be learning. The first things we need to learn are these fundamental technologies, HTML and CSS. Normally, you do that by building something boring, like an online resume or something. Oh, no, not us. We're not doing that. We're going to begin with gaming. We're going to start with a choose-your-own-adventure kind of game. So you can click on things. You can see what's going on. We click on pictures. We have sound effects. We have user interactivity from the beginning. This example gives you a chance to practice HTML and CSS, and we'll only use the more modern versions of these things, which gives you a lot of power. Well, from there, then we need to learn a little bit about actual programming. HTML and CSS technically are not programming languages, so to get to anything really exciting, we need to learn one of those. And the language we'll be using throughout the course is JavaScript, which is incredibly powerful.
JavaScript allows us to interact with the web page. So as we're learning how to interact with the user in the web page, we'll do sort of a Mad Lib style game where the user can type stuff in and we can tell some sort of a silly story and so on. Of course, don't use mine. You'll make your own. Then we'll learn a little bit more about some more formal ideas in computer programming. I mean, if you already know how to program, you know there's a few ideas that are really important no matter what language you're in. We need to know variables and loops and conditions and branches and functions and arrays and so on. That stuff sounds a little bit boring, but oh, it is not. And of course, we'll learn it all by building games. That's what we do. So here we'll do sort of your standard number guesser game. I'm thinking of a number. Let's go 50. Oh, that's too high. Let's try another one, 25. That's too high. Let's try 12. My goodness, what is this thing? We could keep playing, but you get the idea, right? So that'll be the first three units, getting us to computer programming. That's pretty exciting. But of course, I don't want to leave you without some 2D gaming. You want to be able to build some arcade games, right? So even in the free version, we'll do an introduction to this simple game library, which I have developed specifically to be easy to teach and easy to understand and powerful enough to build pretty much any 2D game you want to build. Uh, we'll start by taking a look at this practice tool that I've written for you so that even if you install nothing, you can play around and make your own games. Let's run this thing. Ooh, look, we have a ball. It's moving on the screen. But it's not just an animation. We can actually change it. I wonder what happens when I do this. Ball dot set angle 135. And then we'll run it. And it's doing something different. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really cool. Of course, we can take it much farther. We can even use this very simple tool to learn how we can build interesting examples where I'm controlling the car with the arrow keys. I can hit the coin and it moves on. We can do sound effects, which I've turned off because they're annoying, and so on. We can do so many exciting things, and we'll get enough of a preview so at least you can get started. And if this is all you want, if you can't do the other course, this is great. You'll probably be okay, and you'll have a lot of fun. But I do want to preview some of the things that we'll learn once we have all of this prereq stuff out of the way. What will we learn in the main course? Well, oh my goodness, we will have fun. We'll learn how to build objects. We'll learn about sprites. We'll learn about lots of interesting things, like here's an example of space-based motion. So I have a spaceship, I can control sort of asteroid style, I'm using somewhat realistic physics. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, we'll learn how to do that ourselves. It's not that hard. We'll learn how to do fun things like this. Here I want my hover car because, you know, it's time. We deserve it. So there's my hover car. It has realistic um, uh, gravity and, you know, jets. We need jets. Of course, we also need a rocket launcher. That's another example. Okay, that's pretty fun. Yeah, it is. We learn things like how to build your own uh, little RPG style game. So here's this guy. It's got some animation. He's walking. He's going to poke the orc with a stick. Let's see how we do. This is not going well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Two hit points. Oh, I died. Uh, somebody needs to talk to the programmer. Uh, we can play again, but, but this is a very basic combat model, which is really fun. You'll learn how to build this yourself. We'll learn how to do things like scrolling tile-based worlds so you can build a, a large map for some sort of an adventure game and be able to move around in it. We'll learn how to build stuff like tanks with moving turrets. We'll learn how to build all kinds of things. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this book is uh, the, the very last piece where we're going to go over 10 different game starter ideas. So I'll show you how to build various types of games and give you enough so that you can take it the rest of the way. We'll do fun stuff like a Pong game with the, the right kind of bouncing action. We'll do a tic-tac-toe with actual AI. We'll do all kinds of interesting things. We'll do a, a platform scroller where you can jump and land on platforms and even move the platforms around. Pretty neat stuff, right? Yes, it's very neat stuff. And did I mention it's all free, and it's really fun, and it'll work on pretty much any device you've got. We're going to have so much fun. I really enjoy teaching this stuff. I really enjoy doing this stuff. I can't wait to hear from you, and I can't wait to see what games you make. All right, I'm looking forward. Let's get started right away. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.